Hi everybody and welcome to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and win big consistently no matter what sport you're interested in and what game you're interested in. So for this week I'm going to do a little bit of a video here about three MLB series that are coming up and as the MLB season is in the first month, well actually completed the first month into the second month of the season now, the races are starting to heat up already. So we got some good matchups here. You see here I'm at the uh, VIP club section. I suggest that you join so you can come to this section and uh, do the same thing I'm doing and just check out all these games and, and there are a lot of different things in here that will help you make your predictions and your bets. So I'm going to look at the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. That is the featured matchup of the weekend. There's a couple others I wanted to show you also, but that's the first one I want to look at. So we scroll down through here to all the lists of games. You see there's a lot of matchups for this week. So you can take a look at all of these that you're choosing. I specifically am going to go through three of these for you. So I don't know where the Dodgers and the Padres are at the moment. Okay, here they are. So you see both teams are average right now, average status. And if you look at what they've done the last six games, you can see that the Dodgers have only won two. Well, actually, no, they won four. They won four and they've lost two in their last six. And the Padres have won four and lost two in their last six as well. If you look at the power ranking indicator to compare the two teams, you can see that the Dodgers are way up here at plus 29. They have been steady over the last couple of days. The Padres have gone down slightly, but they're still at plus 24. A very strong team at the moment. If you look here at the, the uh, totals predictor, this will give you an idea whether you should bet the over or the under or neither. You can see here that the Dodgers are trending over, a little bit over. And if you look here, the... Uh, Padres are ten are trending under, so it's best in this game, in this whole series actually probably not to bet on the over and under, because there one team is above and the other team is below. You might want to trend under if you want because the Padres are trending uh, two under compared to the Dodgers are just barely over, so that's up to you. But I would suggest not betting the over under on this one. Um, if you look at the volatility officer, this will tell you how the teams are doing as far as stability. You see that the Dodgers are at plus six. They've been a relatively stable team. And the Padres are at minus one, unstable. That means that they are not performing consistently according to their favorite or underdog status. So take that into consideration. Another thing that's important to look at is how the pitchers have been performing. Well, if you go to the pitcher profit oscillator, I'm going to show you right here that over the pitcher profit oscillator. You're going to look at here, you can put the two teams, and I've already put in the Dodgers and the Padres. Now, this is Saturday's scheduled pitchers, Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers and Joey Lachesi for the Padres. If you go down through here and look at their terms of the pitcher profit, you can see here the trend. You see that uh, Clayton Kershaw is at plus 1,133, and he's been in the positive for quite some time, ever since uh, basically early 2016. And you see that Chesney has been under his whole career, even though it's been a short career, just starting last year. But he's been under, and you can see here, plus 1133 to minus 418 uh, in favor of Kershaw. So that is a very good indication to bet for the Dodgers on Saturday. Okay, and if you look at the rest of the series, I'm not going to put the rest of them in, but you get the idea. You can just put down whichever pitcher you want under both teams. You can change the teams, you can change the pitchers. Uh, Kent Hill is also, or excuse me, Rich Hill is at plus 440, and he has been a very good bet as well. Kent Tomato has not been a very good bet um, on Sunday. So I'm looking at here the Dodgers probably to win the first two games with the Padres taking the last one. The Dodgers win the series 2-1 and keep their first place spot in the National League West. So another game I wanted to look at was the Twins and the Yankees. This is going to be a good series as well, and this was up here further. I remember seeing this as I was scrolling down through the list, and that should be another really good matchup. The Twins are coming in in first place in the AL Central, and the Yankees are in second place, two games behind Tampa Bay in the AL East. And here it is. You can see both teams are playing very well lately, burning hot for the Twins. They have won four in a row. The Yankees are also burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, You'll notice that the Twins are near the top of the league at plus 28. The Yankees are not far behind. They have gone up from 21 to 22. Both teams playing very well, like I said. If you 
you look at the totals predictor to see if you should go over or under. The Twins have been trending over, although they're going down slightly, but they're still trending over in their games. But look at the Yankees. They are trending way over. So this is a good idea to trend on the over. Go for the over if you're betting the over or under in this one. I believe that is a very safe bet. Okay, look at the volatility oscillator to see how the teams are faring according to what they should be doing. And while well, the Twins and Yankees are both uh, very stable, so they're both performing pretty much as their favorite underdog status indicates. Now, if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, which I did earlier, it's the same way as, as I did before with the Dodgers and the uh, uh, Padres. Kyle Gibson is the best bet for the Twins this weekend on Friday. He's at plus 888 profit. J.A. Happ is the best bet for the Yankees on Saturday, plus 609, versus Jake Odorizzi, who's a minus 1433 profit-wise. So that's a very good bet for the Yankees on Saturday. Sunday's game, Michael Pineda has been very good against Domingo German. I think that the Twins have a slight edge on that one. Even though the Yankees are at home, I would lean towards the Twins to win that final game of the series and to win the weekend series two games to one. Now, the last one I want to look at is the Mets and the Brewers. To find that game on here. We scroll down through the list. I don't remember where I saw it or even if I did see it yet at this point. But you can see there's so many games this weekend to look at. So we want to, there we go. The Mets and the Brewers. The Mets are ice cold down at the moment. They have not been playing well. As you see here in the last six, they have lost four out of their last six. The Brewers are average right now. They are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that they're very close to each other. Actually, the Brewers were ahead of the Mets. Now the Mets are slightly higher than the Brewers at 15 to 13. The Mets are second place in the National League East behind the Phillies, and the Brewers are in third place in the National League Central. So if you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, you can see that the Brewers have not been very stable at minus two. The Mets are marginally stable at plus two. Probably not the best idea to go strictly on favorite underdog stats in this one to choose your winner. So if we look at the totals predictor to see if we should go with the over and under, you can see that the Mets are slightly over the red compared to the blue. And if you look down here at the Brewers, they are trending a little bit on the underside, the red compared to the blue. So I would say really to avoid the over and under on this one, it's really not very, it's really not a very good bet considering where both teams fall on the uh, totals predictor. So again, now if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, um, Jason Vargas is a very good bet for the Mets on Sunday. He's at plus 1687 profit. Zach Davies is an excellent bet for the Brewers on Saturday at plus 1580. So that's how it would go with those two games. On Friday's first matchup, both Stephen Max and Gio Gonzalez have not been profitable, both in the negative. That game is pretty much of a toss-up. Maybe give the edge to the Brewers because they are playing at home. So what I would say for that one is to go with the Brewers to win it two games to one. So again, I'm just going to scroll up to the top here. Just remember now, the best thing for you to do if you're not already a member is to join. And see if you join, you can go right here to the VIP club section and go through every one of these games. And very good. So now, look, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always go through the top auto, top performing automated systems. And what you do here is just go down through and select the sport that you're interested in. And we did baseball, so you go to baseball. And then you can check on different methods. Check it on top profit, best ROI. You see here, best profit chart. Most people like to go on profit chart because that's what it's all about, right? Profit. So just quickly going to look through this first one here. Let's just say you want to go with the abacus system. You scroll down through this one and you will see the chart this is the best thing to look at in my opinion is the net profit graph because again that's what it's all about profit right so here's the game number here's the profit total you go down through here this is the previous season if you're interested in that most people like to just go with what's most current but anyway these are the things that you can look at and i think all these these systems and all these different tools will help you win like i said win and win big consistently so there you have it enjoy this weekend's game thank you for watching and come back again next week